Okay, my name is Mikhail Tariku. I'm from Ethiopia, a private limited company called Shashone. Our company is engaged in commercializing social impact products. The products that we call social impact are uh, low cost water filters, uh, which are bundled with uh, Dutch uh, filtering technology. And the other is a uh, hermetic grain storage bag, which is 100% chemical free and uh, an innovation of uh, Purdue University from the US. We have been commercializing these products uh, by using new business models uh, for the last five years. It has been five years since we started commercializing the hermetic green storage bag. And for the water filters, uh, this year is our third year commercializing the, water, the low cost water filter products. For both of uh, the products, our target beneficiaries or our target market is the rural households. In order to reach these rural households, we are using uh, a number of uh, approaches. The major approach uh, to reach to the rural community or to the bottom level, uh, to the bottom level of the pyramid, which is the majority of the people are at the rural uh, society in Africa. So, in order to reach uh, those communities, we are following approaches of partnering with government organizations like the Ministry of Agriculture, the Ministry of Health and also partnering with non-governmental organizations like the USS, the SNV, CRS, and currently we are also uh, trying to partner with a big institution which has a big risk, uh, recognition in the health sector, which is AMREF. So we think that uh, partnering with these organizations might help us to reach to the bottom level of the pyramid, the community, uh, in creating awareness about the problems related with waterborne disease. So, if they know about the problems related with waterborne disease, they will be uh, they will demand for our products, which is the water filter. And the other is if they know about the availability of uh, hermetic grain storage bags, which is chemical-free grain storage bags. And again, if they know about the effects of chemicals like DDT and malatine to protect grains from insects, if they have the awareness about that, they will come to uh, use, they will decide to use hermetic grain storage bags. So we are following an approach which is a little bit mixed. We don't promote our products directly to our end users, but we try to create awareness about our products through partnering different organizations like I've mentioned before. Yeah, if you, if you see that uh, from the perspective of the community, like in Sub-Saharan Africa, between 22 to 30, uh, around 30 percent of what is produced is lost after harvest. Or that means the post-harvest amount is around 30 percent. In short, I can give you a simple example. Last year, Ethiopia has produced around 300 million quintals of grain. Out of that, around 90 million quintals of grain is lost before reaching the uh, consumers. So what we are trying to do is to protect this 90 million quintal of grain before being damaged by insects and other things. One, we are uh, helping the government as well as we are helping the smallholder farmers to save, to save what they have uh, produced. That means enhancing food security at household level, then at, at bigger, at national level, at country level. The other is we are even uh, generating source of income for the farmers. Like mostly, as you know, if you sell crop just after uh, harvest time, the price is too low because all the farmers harvest and they sell it at that time, the price will be very low. So we are giving a chance for the farmers to save the grain for later time, five months, six months. Then when they sell it at that time, the price will hike. So that will help the farmers uh, increase uh, their income. Third, it protects, it uh, helps the farmers to be he more healthier and more, nutri uh, more uh, nutrition secure. Because weevils and insects is the, eat the inner part of grains, which is the most nutritious part. So the farmers eat uh, grains which are attacked by insects. Though your stomach is full, Nutritionally, you are not secured. So it will help also nutrition security. And health-wise, 
if these bugs are not available, if this kind of technologies are not available, the farmers are using chemicals like malatines and DDTs, which are very harmful for the health of the farmers. So using this bug or introducing this bug to the farmers has one, food security advantage, two, nutritional security, three, income generation, four, it can even save labor of women. Because like to use chemicals, to treat uh, the grain with chemicals, you need more time, you need uh, two times, three times treatment. Mm. This is a simple technology, you pour all your grain inside the grain bag and then you tie it. As I've tried to mention, we have been collaborating with different partners, uh, governmental and non-governmental partners. But being part of this uh, accelerator program for the past few days has helped me like uh, to realize things that we have been doing traditionally. Yes, we have been partnering with organizations, but these days, the past few days, we have got, uh, I personally have uh, new experience and knowledge on how to partner, where to partner, even uh, how to assess the gaps that we have as a business, the areas where we need partnership, and etc. This session has helped, uh, helped me or our organization in assessing our gaps, in uh, also linking with potential investors, potential uh, uh, financiers for our uh, businesses, and a lot of things for networking, especially. I love uh, the session uh, with regard to the chance that I get to network with many people.